Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about introspective hypnosis, specifically Candy's introspective hypnosis. She's one of my clients, one of my recent clients, and I was lucky enough that she has sent me an email saying, Hey Brigitte, if you want to share a whole session, you are free to do so. I can even sign disclosure forms if you want me to, because I want to give back to community and also let other people know who might never try that before. There is nothing to fear. I'm excited because it's going to be interesting I'm going to be splitting her session into parts. I don't want to put everything into one So we have different parts of the stories related to different symptoms in this first part of the video What we're gonna be uncovering and talking about is a couple of issues that she brought to the session I do like to write down quotes from my clients as well as any kind of physical emotional health issues that they don't find a reasoning for or they don't understand where it's coming from so one of the things she brought to the session she said I have a dislocated knee and it happens almost out of the blue I have no idea why this is happening to me then she said between 17 to 18 years old I had a really bad allergic reaction she said my throat closed up I felt like I nearly was about to pass and she says I can't find a reason for it up to today. What I look for the most is the symptoms um, that people bring to the session that have no almost reasoning behind it or it doesn't make sense to my client. Also, obviously, I take into consideration I always say to people, go visit your doctors in order to find the reasoning for certain, especially physical symptoms. And if there is nothing found, we can look into it a little bit deeper. This first part of the video is actually the very beginning of her session. So I ask her to look for any memory that is somehow connected to what it is that your soul or your body needs to heal here today. She tends to go to a memory that is connected to her knee, her breathing, her throat, and it's connected to that allergic reaction that she had when she was 17 to 18 years old. In the upcoming video, what we're going to be looking at is one of the things that she brought to the session that's connected to her mother. And I quote, she says, I don't want to be in the same room with my mom. And I feel uneasy whilst being in the same room or talking to my mom. And in that part of the video, uh, very interesting things happen because she comes back to understand, and back in time, to understand what caused that emotion for her and what happens when she's around her mom what is being triggered what kind of emotion is being triggered for her that she didn't find reasoning behind in her conscious mind in addition i'd like to say for anyone who might be feeling weird watching anyone else being entranced or any emotion come up this happens for some people there might be some kind of resonance during the trance and some of your own emotions might be coming to the surface to be healed so do not freak out in case that happens I have seen it happen a couple of times already and I hope this is going to be helpful You're there now, in that memory, where you are. I want you to imagine and feel and tell me, does it feel like it's day or night? It's day. It's day, very good. And in that moment, I want you to take a look at your feet. Look down at your feet and tell me. Do those feet look or feel young or old? Young. Young, very good. And are those feet of a female or a male? Female. Very good. Approximately, if you knew, how old are you there? Seven or eleven. Does it feel like you're on your own? Yes. And can you see anything? Do you feel like you're inside or you're outside in that space and time? I think I'm inside the water. Inside the water. Very good. And when you're inside the water, you're around 11. What is it that you're wearing on your body? 
a waitress. How is it that you are feeling whilst inside the water wearing a white dress? I feel at peace. Now I want you to travel back just before you're in that water. I'll count from three to one, three, two, and one. You're there now. Can you feel in that moment, where could your parents be? Are they far, are they close? They don't, they are there, but they don't see me. Very good, now let's move a little bit forward as you're collecting those shells. What happens next? How do you end up, if you knew, underwater? Can't remember. Mm hmm Very good. I'll count from three to one. When you allow your mind to remember what has happened in that moment in time. And when I say one, you'll be there. Three, two, and one. Feeling that water. Feeling every emotion. As you collect in those shells, tell me what happens next. Jump into the water. I'm floating. Check on your throat. Check on your lungs. Can you breathe? How do they feel? Tight. Tight. What exactly does it feel tight? Chest. Chest. I want you to focus on that feeling now, even more so than before. Three, two, and one. As your chest is getting tighter, I want you to tell me what is the emotion that comes up in that moment whilst you're underwater. I feel lost. You feel lost. And as you feel lost, what is your thought on that brain? What is the first thought that comes to brain? How do I get up? How do I get up? Okay. And is there anyone that you feel coming to help you or are you on your own? Um, I feel a lady mm -hmm. swimming towards me. Yes, and when she's swimming towards you, is she able to pull you out or is it too late? It's too late. It's too late now. Let's move to the time when the soul is about to leave the body. Three, two, and one. I want you to feel the soul leaving the body. What is it that you feel as your soul is floating above? Can you see anything? What is on your mind? I feel free. You feel free. Very good. Now, I want you to check on that soul and tell me if that soul is floating around, floating upwards from the body. Does it feel like it goes to light? If not, where do you feel like it went? It's just floating around just like a mess. Very good. Now I'll come from three to one. And I want to have a conversation with that soul that's floating around. We are going to lend your lips and your mind only to that soul that feels lost. Three, 
two, and one. Thank you for communication. As I understand, you have drowned at 11 years old. And you feel lost, is that correct? Yes. Can you tell me approximately how long ago is it that you have found candy? Since she was a kid. Since she was a kid. And do you remember, do you know what drew you towards candy? What is it that you liked about her? She was alone. And now, since you are an energy body, you are a soul, you have unintentionally or maybe intentionally caused candy certain symptoms. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Is that you that has a connection to her throat, feeling closed off, or is it something else? Her chest. Mm -hmm. And as you're there in her chest, how is it that Candy feels when you are most present, when you're causing those symptoms in her chest? She can't breathe. She can't breathe. Candy told me a story. When she was younger, she had this reaction where her throat started closing up. Can you tell me, was that caused by you or was it caused by something else? It was me. And at that time when she had this throat closing up, what is it that you did to cause that for her? I felt alone. You felt alone. Understandably so. And when you felt alone, and Candy felt you, and it made you feel less alone at that time? Yes. I want you to tell me one more thing. The left knee that Candy was talking about earlier on today, is that caused by you, or is it something else? It was me. What did you do in her knee? To shift. A shift? Tell me more about that. To stop her. To stop her. And do you realize that your soul hasn't gone to light and you are wandering lost. I know. Has it been a long time since you are wandering around? No. Now let's do something here. I want you to understand what it is that your soul needs in order to go to light today because you are delaying your soul's evolution by being attached to Candy's energy field. Would you like to remember what it is that your soul needs or do you feel like you remember now talking to me? I want to know. In a moment I'll count from three to one and you'll travel in time and space since you're a soul, there are no boundaries. Three, traveling in time and space. Two, and one. You're there now. Tell me if you can see. Are you inside or outside? Can you feel? I'm outside. Mm -hmm. And what is happening around you? It's sunny. And... Mm -hmm. It's breezy. There's grass. Very good. Is your home far away or is it close by? It's far. Mm-hmm. And are you on your own there? Yes. I want to go home. You want to go home. And do you feel like you are able to find your way back home? 
it's hard. It's hard. Okay, so let's travel a little bit further. Tell me what happens next as you're trying to find your way back home. Walking. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a little hot. I see my house. Yeah. But it's still far. Very good. I'll come from three to one and you'll be in your house. Three, two, and one. You're in your house now. As you get home, can you see your parents? See my mom. Mm -hmm. Does she ask you where have you been? Does she say something to you? She hugged me and she thought I, she lost me. Mm -hmm. And is there something that you tell her? Do you feel good whilst hugging her? Yes. Very good. So understanding that, you felt lost in that field. And you found your parents. And you're realizing that at that moment when you were by the water, you were not able to see your parents. Do you feel like connecting to your parents and feeling that you are not on your own and them helping you in that moment? was something that your soul needed in order to go peacefully to light? Yes. Very good. Now, we're gonna travel a little bit further. I'll come from three to one to the moment when that soul leaves the body by the water. Three, two, and one. In that moment, when your soul leaves the body, I want you to imagine your mom your mom's higher self, her spirit in front of you and I want you to look in her eyes. And as you're looking into her eyes, I want you to speak to her and to tell her what has happened. I drowned. I told her I love her. Very good. And now as you tell her you love her, I want you to imagine your soul hugging her soul. And I want you to feel that comfort that you are not on your own. And that you're going to see your parents and meet them in the light. And you can always find your way to them. Because as a soul, there are no boundaries. As you're hugging your mom, how is it that you're feeling? I feel warm. I feel happy. Very good. I want you to hug your mom even more so now and feel her presence and understand that you're able to leave peacefully because you never, never really disconnected. I want you to check now if your parents are already in spirit. Just my mom is gone. Just your mom. Do you feel like in this moment you're ready to go to light and meet your, meet your mom over there? Yes. Very good. So I want you to do one thing now before we go there. Okay. Do you feel like you would like to apologize to Candy for all unintentional or intentional symptoms you have caused for her by being attached to her? Yes. Sorry. And now as Candy is listening, I want Candy to step in and tell me, Candy, do you accept the apology of the spirit that has been lost? I do. Very good. Now I want to talk to the spirit again now. 
I want you to start taking, pulling all your energy from Candy's energy field that has caused her to feel a certain way. Take it all with you together, taking all the symptoms. I'm going to be helping you here today as well with my energy to guide you towards the light. Let's take all that energy and let's take it through the top of Candy's head, going upwards. Very good. Keep pulling all the energy of yours. And when you do, I want you to start looking for the light and tell me, can you see it? I can see it. I want you to travel and go upwards towards that light. Somewhere there, spirit of your mom can help you and greet you. Tell me once you get there. Here's my mom. Very good. And one more thing. Is there anything else I can help you with here today? I'm ready to go. I miss my mom. Very good. So stay there with your mom and stay in the light. And disconnect your energy from candy completely. And I'll count from three to one. And I'll be talking to candy again. Three, two, and one. Now candy, I want you to do one thing since the spirit has left. Since she's taken all the energy from you, you don't have those symptoms anymore. But there is something that we can put instead of the energy that was there. Let's start with your breathing and let's start with your chest. What is it that you would like to put there today instead of that energy? You can put anything that you like that serves you. Herbal medicine. Herbal medicine, very good. And what color would you give it? If you could give it any color. Green. Green. Now I want you to imagine that beautiful green frequency coming from the source, from God, and filling your chest with that beautiful green light. Feel it in your body. Healing all parts of your chest and your breathing. Allowing you to feel at ease. Breathe freely. And any time you'll have even the slightest issue, you're going to remember this beautiful green light surrounding you, protecting you, feeling you at ease, and the herbal medicine you put in there. So keep pouring that beautiful green light and tell me whenever you feel like it's done. It's done. Very good. Now I want you to take a look at your left knee. How does your left knee feel like since that energy taken away? It's symptom. It feels stronger. Feels stronger, very good. You've reclaimed all your strength and power in that knee. Is there anything you would want to put in that knee, if you could put anything? More strength. And what color does it have? White and red. White and red. Let's start pulling and taking that energy from God, from the source. 
that beautiful vibration of strength. It has white and red tones to it. And let's start overflowing your left knee with that energy. Energy of strength. And whenever it's done, let me know. It's done. Very good. Now, since that energy has left you, I want you to check on your energy field and I want you to strengthen it. You can use the same light you were using here before. You can use a different color. Closing any gaps that might be in your auric field. And strengthening your energy body. That beautiful vibration. And tell me, how does that feel like? Feels relaxing. Very good. So you know what I do now? I do incorporate tarot together with introspective hypnosis. But I pulled the cards uh, prior to us even talking and before the interview and anything else. And I want to read those from the book for you. The first card that came out was the Epoch card. And what I'm looking at is the artwork on this card, which already told me to pay attention to your chest and your throat, if you can see over here. And that's something that needs to be looked at. And the message of this card says, pause in your journey. So I think there is an additional message for you going forward. When epoch is drawn, it may feel like life has been split down the middle. The corresponding card in traditional tarot deck is the tower. This process can be traumatizing and painful, but all meaningful change comes after a time of great destruction. Clearing out of the old to make way for the new. Just like volcanoes and earthquakes will violently rock the planet to create new continents, cataclysmic and destructive events in our personal lives will bring new opportunities for growth and evolution. The act of purging makes way for the eventual new path of action. However, a quiet period or breakdown and decay is also essential for regeneration and rebirth on every level, physical, mental and spiritual. The man of epoch is torn a standard, but the flowers of inspiration are slowly blooming around him and within him he pauses in his journey and i think this is already referencing to you needing to take a moment for yourself especially i would say the next month or so um don't pressure yourself too hard just be a bit of an observer of your own life and take notes Take peace and solace right now. Wait before you make your next move. New developments are ahead. A sign will appear like the bird poised on the man of Epoch's knee. Interesting, it's referring to the knee right as well. <laughs> there is a bird on your knee, which is freedom. Basically, you're freeing yourself from what's holding you back. Um, it's drinking the nectar of pollenite. You and your life are growing and becoming. So the ties in very, very nicely here. You know, for you, what we talked about, the throat, the chest, as well as your knee, all in one card. I'm very excited to keep working on myself, you know, keep evolving. Um, yeah, I'll continue to do that and I'll keep you posted. 